Hello everyone, salutations. So today we are going to solve skill set 3 of standard 11. Skill set 3 is JavaScript. We are going to perform SOP2. Now SOP2 is having three sub questions. So now we are going to solve the first sub question of SOP2. Alright, so you can see already I have uh, typed the code. I will very quickly explain what is going on over here. So first of all, the question. The question is to accept two positive or negative numbers. That means allow the user to accept, uh, enter. Allow the user to enter any two numbers. They may be positive or negative. For example, any two numbers, they may be same different. For example, two and four. And as well as the user can enter minus two and plus two. But we know very well, plus two and minus two are not same. They are different. So user is free to enter any two type of numbers they may be same numbers or different numbers as well as they can be positive or negative yes and check whether they are equal or not so the coding is very simple according to the question first of all we have the basic structure of html okay so this is the regular basic structure of html and inside the container of the body we have the entire thing and before starting now javascript is starting from this point Okay, from where? But this is totally different language than HTML. So before you embed any different language inside HTML coding, we must give script tag. Okay, so within the container of script tag, entire JavaScript coding will be there. Now this is the JavaScript coding inside the container of script tag. Okay, now script has an attribute called language. And the value we give is JavaScript. Okay. Till here, that means wherever you have HTML code, it is not case sensitive. That means case sensitivity uh, does not apply from here, whatever part I am selecting till here. At least from starting of the web page. That means starting of doc type till script tag. It is not case sensitive. That means because this is HTML part. Here also case sensitivity is not there. Wherever you have tags of HTML, it is not case sensitive. Because we know the fact HTML is not case sensitive. That means capital letter and small letter, they are treated equal. They are not different. But JavaScript is case sensitive. Okay. So, however it is asked in the chapter first of all you have to be very very fluent okay you have to know whatever the concept of javascript is you have to read the lesson you will understand everything please go through the lesson also so where keyword first of all we will use where keyword so the question is to accept two numbers i have given two variable names n1 and n2 in previous uh, questions i explained what is variable so when you declare a variable very tiny amount of memory is allotted Okay, here we have two variables, so we will have two tiny memories. In those tiny memories, you can store any value. Okay, either you can declare the value or you can accept from the user. If you are going to accept it from the user as it's asked in the question, so you are going to use prompt function. Now, prompt is the predefined function of JavaScript. It is useful to accept the value from the user. So, how to do it? First of all, write the variable name is equal to what? Is equal to prompt, name of the function. Now, see, var, small letters, prompt, small letters. It is compulsory to follow in this manner as it is given in the lesson. Okay? If you do, I mean, if you make P capital, so it is not going to execute properly, you will not get the output. In the parenthesis, you mention the message, enter first number. The message is always enclosed in double quotes double quotes okay or you can alternatively use single quotes also you can try that also now n2 second variable and you have to again accept it from the user so same you are going to use prompt function and put the message in the parenthesis okay inside the parenthesis you will use double quotes and provide the message enter second number now whatever value is going to be entered by the user for example first time prompt function uh, for prompt dialog box appeared user entered five 
so value of n1 will be 5 okay for example for n2 user entered 3 so value of n2 will be 3 if you refresh prompt dialog boxes will come once again I mean refresh the browser it is going to display once again you can enter different numbers at that time it is going to save another value then if because the question is to determine whether they are equal or not either they will be equal or they will not be equal. okay so you are you are going to use if statement how if is written in small letters okay then inside the parentheses uh, condition is given okay what is our condition is n1 that means value stored inside n1 is equal to value stored inside n2 now you will say double equal to why double equal to okay so in lesson you must have seen that table of the conditional operators conditional operators greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to not equal to and equal to okay now this single equal to when we use this is known as assignment operator we are assigning some value to n1 at that time single is equal to symbol is used okay or the operator is used and here double equal to means value stored in this variable should be equal all right so we are going to check that so when you provide if next part is the true part okay so this is the true part that is n1 is equal to n2 otherwise if the condition is false if the condition is false it is going to ignore this statement and directly jump to else part. After else part, whatever statement is there, that is going to be the false part. Okay, so if the condition is not true, that means both the numbers are not equal. If the numbers are not equal, it will directly jump to else and display this statement. That is n1 is not equal to n2. Here you can see n1 and n2, these are the variable names. That means whatever value is there inside n1 and n2, that will be displayed in the web browser. Okay. And I have also given the concatenation symbol to join the statements. I mean, display these values n1 and n2 and in between I want to uh, add this text known as is equal to and is not equal to. So that is a string. Okay. That is a text. So, text is always included inside quotations. Okay. And after that, the program is over literally. So, script closes, body closes, HTML closes. So, I hope so you have understood the coding. Okay. Now, let us execute this. So, to execute, I have saved the file in this folder, 11 HTML files. And this is the file that is SOP3. Okay. So, right click. Open with option. And I will use Internet Explorer. Okay. In Internet Explorer, first of all, it is going to show this kind of Internet Explorer restricted this web page. So, first of all, click on this button called Allow Block Content. Okay. Now, see, this is the prompt dialog box. Let me zoom the browser so that you can see. Ah, I cannot do it. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, let me... My God. Okay, okay, okay. Because I did not enter anything, so it is showing like this. I just want to increase the size of the browser so that you can see properly. I hope so. This is nicely visible. Now I will refresh it once again. So the prompt dialog box has once again appeared. See how it appears. Uh, it has the message which we gave enter first number with the text box and OK cancel. Don't worry about this unidentified. Just uh, you can give a back, back escape. OK, remove that and type a number or simply just type the number. OK, so I will give 6. Enter. Now second dialog box. Enter second number. And here I will give minus 6. OK, I first number I gave 6 and the second is minus 6. Enter. So 6 is not equal to minus 6. That is correct. Both are not equal. But I don't see any gap between uh, 6 and is and here 2 and minus 6. So I have to provide the gaps in the in this part. In this part. Okay. In this part I have to provide the gaps. How? Before is one gap and after 2 one gap. Same to same here. Control S. Once again, we will refresh and try. 
ओके नाउ लेट्स एंटर माइनस थ्री माइनस थ्री इज माई फर्स्ट नंबर एंड द सेकेंड नंबर इज पॉजिटिव थ्री ओके जस्ट थ्री एंटर माइनस थ्री इज नॉट इक्वल टू थ्री ओके नाउ लेट्स ट्राई विथ डिफरेंट नंबर रिफ्रेश वंस अगेन नाइन एंटर ट्वेंटी नाइन इज नॉट इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी ओके नाउ लेट्स गिव सेम नंबर फाइव एंटर फाइव फाइव इज इक्वल टू फाइव ओके सो द आउटपुट इज करेक्ट सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली ट्राई दिस ओके फॉलो स्टेप बाय स्टेप डू इट स्टेप बाय स्टेप यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट द आउटपुट so now i will provide the video for the second part of sop2 so sop2 has three parts one part is completed so you will be having videos upcoming about second and the third part of sop2 okay i hope so this was helpful to you please share if you like this uh, step by step explanation please share it with your friends and colleagues and please 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 subscribe the channel and very much thank you i am very very thankful to all my dear subscribers who have subscribed the channel liked the videos and giving very valuable suggestions i will i am definitely working on each and every suggestion okay so thank you everybody take care see you in the next video